Now if you have a workbook that has a bunch of worksheets, as I have here, a total of five, a sheet for each state that we made sales in, so sheet one is California, sheet two is Utah, sheet three is New York, and so on. Unless I've got these sheets memorized, like sheet two is California, oh, it's Utah. You can go ahead and rename the worksheets instead of the generic names like sheet one, sheet two, by right-clicking on the sheet tab, and in the shortcut menu, go up and click on Rename. When you click on it, it puts the sheet name into edit mode, and you can see the cursor's flashing there, and it's highlighted. So all you have to do is just go ahead and start typing to overwrite it, and to accept the change, hit the Enter key on the keyboard, and there you go. Another way to do it is just to simply double-click on the sheet tab, and you can see it automatically puts it in edit mode. Then you can just go ahead and start typing. And you don't even have to hit Enter on the keyboard. You can just go ahead and click off of it, and it accepts the changes. Let me go ahead and do the rest. Now, in addition to renaming the worksheets, you can give it some couleur, color, that is. So if we have certain states that are doing great in sales, let's give them the color green, and those that aren't doing so well, maybe yellow or even the dreadful red. So let's go ahead and right-click on one of the worksheet tabs and go to Tab Color. You got your theme colors, and you got a variation of green here, olive green, accent 3, lighter, 40%. I'm going to stick with the standard colors of green here, just a simple green. Click on it and it highlights it in green. You don't see it completely until you click off of it, then it's totally green. And when you click on it, that means the worksheet's active, so it doesn't have it in full green mode. It puts the name in bold, and it gives you a green underline, again, to let you know that that's the worksheet you're looking at, the active worksheet. Let's go ahead and do some more. Like, how about California and New York? And if I want to do them both at the same time, you can select one, California, hold down the Control key and click on New York to do a nonlinear selection and then right-click on either one of those highlighted worksheet tabs. I can do New York. Right-click on it. Go to the tab color, and let's say those are red. Click off, and there you go. Now for block selections, like if I want to go ahead and select everything from California to Arizona, go ahead and select California. Hold down the Shift key and click on Arizona, and then right-click anywhere on that selection, and go up to tab color, and go to everybody's favorite color. That's right, purple and then click off. Cool. Now if you need additional worksheets, you can come over here and click on the plus sign, and whatever worksheet that you have that's active, it'll add the worksheet to the right of it. So if you want to add a worksheet to the right of New York, select New York, and then go ahead and click on the plus sign, and it adds it with the generic name of Sheet 1. And it also gives it the same color because it was inserted in between that range of tabs that already had the color purple. So when I click off, there's Sheet 1. You can do it that way to add additional worksheets, or you can go ahead and right-click, like on Utah, and come up here and click on Insert. Opens up the Insert window, and Worksheet is selected by default, so you can just go ahead and click OK. And in this case, whatever tab I right-clicked on to insert it, it inserts it in front of that. So the plus sign to the right, the right-click to the Insert in front of the tab that we had selected. And then if you made a mistake, you're like, oh, I don't need those. You can go ahead and right-click on Sheet 2 and delete it. And then right-click on Sheet 1 to delete that one as well. Now, if you're like me and you're like, ah, something's not right, it's because I'm anal. And A has to become before C for California to do it sorted alphabetically A through Z. Well, through U, that would be at the end, not Z. So to go ahead and reorder your worksheets, you can go ahead and just click on the Worksheet tab. And then you can see my pointer has got the document behind it the sheet, and then you get this little black triangle pointing down. When you move it over to the left-hand side, wherever that black triangle is, that's where it's going to dump and unload the Arizona worksheet in two. So i got to make sure it's before California let go, and there you go. And, okay, it's still not right. Utah has to come after the N for New York, if I remember my alphabet. Let's go ahead, and the other way, instead of clicking and dragging, is you can right-click. And the reason why you may want to do this is because if you have 50 worksheets, do you really want to click and drag forever? Instead, you can right-click on it and go up to Move or Copy. We're just going to move, so let's go ahead and click on Move or Copy. And it says, where do you want to move it? Before what sheet? Well, I want to move it before the Summary sheet, so let's go ahead and select Summary, and then click Okie Dokie. Ah, I feel better. You can also make copies of your worksheet, like for example, if I'm bringing on a new state, Vermont, that we've got sales in. Instead of creating a new worksheet and retyping in the labels here, lemon, lavender, peppermint, and then the quarter one labels and the totals, how about if I could just go ahead and make a copy of one of these 
And then, of course, after I make a copy of it, update it from Utah to Vermont and update the numbers respectively, I mean, for the sales that were made in Vermont. So to go ahead and make a copy of a worksheet, just go ahead and you can right-click on it and go up to Move or Copy. See, I'd bring you back to Copy. You thought I wouldn't. Go ahead and click on it. And you want to go ahead and click on Create a Copy of what we right-clicked on, which is Utah, and where do we want to put it? If it's Vermont, oh, it better be before Summary and after Utah because i got to keep my worksheet sorted alphabetically. Let's go ahead and click OK, and there we go. So it gives me Utah 2, which I can go ahead and double-click and type in Vermont, hit Enter, and then I can come up here and update the cell here, the title for the worksheet, and then, of course, update the numbers respectively for the cells that we made in Vermont. You can do it that way, or to make a copy of a worksheet, just go ahead and click on it to select it, and then hold down the control key and then click and drag it. Remember our little triangle pointing downwards and the worksheet that's just below the pointer? Well, that worksheet, I don't know if you can see it, it's got a little plus sign on it now. That means it's in copy mode. That is, as long as I have the control key held down. So if I go ahead and drag it and say, okay, it's going to be between California and New York, let go of the mouse first, let go of the control key, and there you go. Copy of Utah. Cool. Let's go ahead and right click on it because I don't want to keep it and delete it. And yes, it will be permanently deleted. Okie dokie. Next, I want to show you how you can copy and or move your worksheets to another workbook. And that other workbook, let me go ahead and create it. Let me right click down below on the taskbar, the workbook that I currently have open to get the jump list. And then go up to Excel to open up a new Excel workbook. There we go. Generic name, book one. So let me go ahead and click Save. And we're going to do it to the desktop here. And let's update it and call it our, our European Sales. And there's the original workbook that we still have open managing worksheets. So now we have two on the desktop, the one that we were working on, and the new one, European Sales. Go ahead and click Save. Updates the title. Cool. And then I can go back down to the taskbar and click on Managing Worksheet. Because in order for me to go ahead and move and or copy worksheets from this workbook to another, that other workbook has to be open. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. So if I want to go ahead and let's say we want to be able to move Arizona through Utah, click on Arizona, hold down the shift key, select Utah, so it can select Arizona to Utah and everything in between, and then go ahead and right click on the selection, go up to move or copy, and right now we're going to be moving it within the worksheet, this managing worksheet, unless we click on the drop down arrow and say, is there another workbook out there? Yes, European sales. That's why you have to have it open. Go ahead and select European Sales, and then, well, where do you want to move it? We don't get a choice. We can go ahead and move it to the end behind Sheet 1, or move it in front of Sheet 1. Let's move it to the end, and click Okie dokie. And then now it puts me over in the European Sales Workbook, and it's at the end after the first worksheet. And there they are. And when I go back to Managing Worksheet, you can see, oh, they're all gone. Well, let me go ahead and go back to European Sales. And then, of course, here I can go ahead and double-click and update these to, you know, France, and then type in and update the numbers here so I don't have to recreate the worksheet for the European sales. And then if I made a mistake, I'm like, okay, I meant to copy it because I still want these states back into the original workbook. These were just brought over so I could go ahead and not have to retype in everything here as far as the items go. So let's go ahead and... With Arizona selected, hold down the shift key and select Utah, and then I can show you the copy. Right click on the selection, go to move or copy. And this time we want to create a copy, but not in this workbook. We've got to update that and say we've got to go back to our original workbook, and we'll move it before Vermont. And click OK. So it moves me right back to the managing worksheets so I can see the results of my work. And there's Arizona through Utah before Vermont. Cool. Then back in European sales. I still have Arizona through Utah, which again, I could go ahead and double click on it and update it to the countries in Europe, France, Italy, and so on. Now, still staying in European cells, you can see that I've got for the tab selected, we got a group here. And what you can do is you can go ahead and create a new workbook based upon the sheets you have selected. So, with the ones I have selected here, I can go ahead and right click. Maybe I'm creating a new workbook for sales in Asia, so I want to go ahead and have at least four tabs with the labels there, and then I can update it to the countries over in Asia there. In any case, let's go ahead and come up here and click on Move or Copy, and then instead of 
these two workbooks, we want a new workbook. And I don't want to move them to the new workbook, so I want to make sure that I check Create Copy. And then click OK. And now we have three. We have our original workbook, we have the European sales, and then we have the new one that we just created here, Book 2, and it's got the worksheets, Arizona through Utah. And then, of course, go ahead and rename those, save it for sales we have in Asia and the countries over there. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this and not save it. I'm going to go back to my original workbook. And something that you may find helpful for shortcuts, right now it may not be because we don't have that many worksheet tabs, but let me come over here and show you these three little dots there that when you hover over it, you get arrows pointing in opposite directions. So when you click and drag that, you can stretch out the horizontal scroll bar. And you may not want to do that, but know that if you need more room, you can click and drag and push it back the other way. But let me go ahead and go even further to the left. And so it takes up all the worksheets but one. In other words, if you have like 50 worksheets and this scroll bar gets so tiny that it, it disappears behind it, or in this case, disappears because I pulled it all the way over to the left-hand side except for the last worksheet, that if you want to be able to jump around, you got your arrows that you can click on, and when you hover over it, you see in the pop-up, you get some choices. But let me show you that when you click on that arrow, it goes from one worksheet to the next. Utah, then Vermont, and then go ahead and click on it again to summary. And you got the little ellipsis button or three dots when you click on it. It'll go ahead and move it to the left, just like clicking on the arrows. So you can use the arrows or these three little dots to go left or right. You also get the option, like we just saw, the pop-up, that it says if you hold down the control key and left click, you can go to the last worksheet. So if I'm like, quick, i got to jump to the last worksheet, the summary tab, go ahead and hold down the control key and click, and it goes all the way over to the summary. Cool. And then if I go ahead and control click to the left, it takes me all the way to the, the first worksheet within my workbook here. And then it says if you want to see all sheets, because I want to be able to choose and not scroll, 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 you can go ahead and right click on the arrow, and it brings up a list of all the worksheets. Great, then I can go ahead and jump up, jump down, jump around. Let's select Vermont, click OK, and it takes me right to it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please look in the description below this video.